Hi guys, it's PeakyPro123, and this is going to be my 100th video special. And in this video, I will be answering a question that a few people have asked, and I'm sure many of you have wondered, but just not asked, and that's how do I film my videos if I am blind? So real quick, I'll just tell you what I have and what's up with my eyesight. So I was born with a condition known as Leber's Congenital Amaurosis, which is a degenerative eye disease. So I was born with a little bit of sight and it slowly declined over the, my entire life. So I really don't have much sight left. And I also have nystagmus, which means I cannot control the movement of my eyes. They twitch and jump and stuff like that and I really can't control it very well. And then I also have nystagmus, which is basically where I cannot really focus my eyes on anything, which is why I can't really see color. And I can tell the color of things because people tell me what they are. Like this morning I didn't know what color this sweater was and my dad told me it was a bluish green. He said it was kind of an aqua and I didn't really know that. I just, it's a pale color. I can't really tell if it's a light purple, gray, blue, or green. My eyesight is really not a lot. Um, I cannot count fingers with my right eye anymore. They can't measure how bad it is. And my left eye, they think I have about 20% of my vision. So, um, when I film my videos, I use an iPad, which I have right here. And I just brought up YouTube, and that's my um, channel. And I use this because the screen is so large. So I can kind of see what I'm filming because I have a really nice camera, it's like the family's, I think it's a Canon of some sort, but I don't use that because, well I've used it a couple times, but I don't use it a lot because I can't really focus it, um, because it has so many settings and you have to like manually focus if I want the guinea pigs to be in focus but not the bars and stuff like that, and I just cannot do that, and I cannot see when I'm filming with that camera. So the way I hold it is like really weird. I kind of wrap my hand around, I don't know if you can see my hand, okay. I wrap my hand around the, um, I don't know what it's called, the thing on the front where you zoom and unzoom. I can't think of what it's called. Lens. Okay, there we go. I wrap my hand around the lens and then put my thumb kind of underneath the camera and my f pointer finger over it. So I hold it really weird and I kind of guess where I'm shooting it and I've gotten pretty good at it but I just do not like to use it. It is so tedious, so cumbersome and I usually have to refilm once or twice. So I just use this. The screen is very large. The camera really is not half bad and I can see what I'm filming kind of if, if the lighting is good. So that works out really well and I mean no one complains to me about the quality. And speaking of quality, I don't know how good this is going to be. I'm filming with my computer directly through iMovie. But um, you can see everything is nice and big. So if I'm filming a video of the guinea pigs, I can kind of see them on here. But I can kind of tell where to point the camera by sound. I can hear them walking, eating pellets, eating hay, things like that. And I can tell Rose and Petunia apart because Petunia is really dark. Kiwi's all light and rose to the mix of the two. And one other useful tool is called voiceover. So let me turn that on. So I hope you can hear this. But voiceover is a tool that comes with all Apple devices and it allows you to read what's on the screen. So I'm just gonna go through and read my channel. Figgy Pro 123. Link. Feed. Videos. Discussion. About. About Figgy Pro 123. Hi guys, on my channel you will mostly find videos on the care and well-being of small pets. You will see things on guinea pigs such as cage tour, DIY toys, information, subscribers, 152. Oh, I went up. I Last I checked I had 151. Video views, 5,910. Uploads, 98. Bye. Piggy Pro 123. They joined. June 23rd, 2013. So you can see, this reads everything to me. Voice over on. And I have it on what's known as the hot key, so if I uh, click the home button three times in a row, it turns on and off. 
and I also have zoom so if I just triple tap with, or double tap with three fingers it zooms in so let me zoom in on Kiwi so I'm going to turn the zoom down a little bit and there's Kiwi Pig so I can zoom and use voiceover and um, this is how I check all my subscriptions so I can go through and listen because I'm a lot better at using it like this than with the computer but um, our computer does have it and I actually filmed this next part we had just reset the computer and I forgot to turn it on and I kind of explained that but our computer has it as well all Apple devices do I think um, you can turn them on in the settings menu they take a lot of practice I'm not very good at the one on the computer but um, I don't really show you the one on the computer because I forgot to turn it on because we reset the computer um, but it works it, it works the same just keystrokes so that's basically it as far as filming and um, I will now show you how I edit. So this is my computer and I use iMovie to edit. So right here you can see practically the entire screen. I know it cuts off a little bit of the side but I have nowhere else to put the iPad. So um, this is, this as you can see is my little mini intro. Still missing the Wii King because I lost all my video footage, including the stuff I used to make the Wii game, but, um, I basically can tell what the picture is by doing this. So, by zooming in on the screen, I can see what I'm working with, so let me delete that. So over here is where you can select Music, pictures, text, transitions, and I don't know what that last one is. And I can't read the screen tip. Um, but yeah, I cannot read that screen tip. But I know that the second one is photos, and I've already scrolled down to where I select the photos from. But, like, oh, it's the first day I got Petunia! Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, <laughs> I know the color isn't coming out quite right, but this is that bright red snowflake looking thing. Mm -hmm. And these are just a bunch of random pictures I made. Just random backgrounds and stuff. So I can click and just drag and drop that into the, I don't know, movie making area. I don't know any of the technical terms for this stuff. Right next to that, I know if you click text, it brings up all the text you can use. And if I scroll down all the way on the left side, I can find the one I want by just holding this over it because it flashes. Then I click that and come up here and drag it all the way. There we go. And wait for it to load. Then we can come over here. I zoom down a little bit so you can see the air is a lot smaller. Then I delete. It says title text here. I delete that. And I know I'm typing Piggy Pro 123 because I can touch type. So I don't know if you can see the keyboard. I should have thought about that. But So I know I type Piggy Pro 123. So enter. Now, I'm going to be editing this video of all my guinea pig toys and shoes and such. And I'm not going to do the whole thing because it's a long video. But I just grabbed the scroll bar and moved it down to the bottom. So now you can see here are the thumbnails of this video. And I'm just going to scroll up until I see colors that don't match the video. So this is still the video, still the video. Okay, so here's from the last video I had downloaded on here. Okay, so I just found the video. So this first segment is 3 minutes 16 seconds. I can see that way over here on the left. I don't know if you can see that. But if I right click, brings up a menu. 
And I can scroll down here. Oh, and it says select entire clip. Then I can just click and drag that into our animated movie. So, when I actually edit the video, I leave it large like this, but as you can see under here, I have these little, um, I don't know what they're called, but it shows the audio. So, I don't want all this extra footage in the beginning, so someone is calling me. Sorry about that. But I don't want all this extra footage at the beginning. So I just drag the arrow until I find the beginning of the audio. Then I right click. And I scroll down here. I'm not sure what all this stuff is. But I find the one that says split clip. Then I come back up, okay here we are, and I delete this, like, 8 seconds, so now the video starts right off with, and um, I'm going to start with stuff with the guinea pigs that don't have in their pages, which I keep in this pink pebble in, and, um, just so you know, guinea pigs need a lot of enrichment and a lot of toys keep them occupied. They need a lot of space to run around and a lot of things to do and play with and they are happiest with friends. And even Kiwi who cannot live with the others is benefiting to Sounder Dang that just helping. Somehow benefiting hugely from just living next to them. So that's just something for you to consider if you're new to guinea pigs. But except in this bin I have a cardboard toy that I haven't given them yet. So I want to get rid of that pause. I couldn't think of the good word. Toy. So I'm going to listen until I stop saying cardboard and split the clip there. I'll split the clip right there. I have a cardboard toy. Because that makes me sound, I don't know. I like it much better without the split, or without the pause. So I find where I start saying toy, and I right click, and I click split clip. Then I listen to the clip that I just separated to make sure I didn't cut off any of the audio I want. A cardboard toy. 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 So I did what I want. Then I just find this segment. It's 1.1 second long. Select it and delete it. And I basically go through all my videos like this. So let's say I wanted to add a transition somewhere. And I haven't actually gone through and edited this video. It takes a long time. So I'm just going to add a transition right here. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> um, so I want to select another clip. So along the bottom of each of every part of your video that you have in your project, there is a line. Not sure what color. But I find a video that doesn't have a line. And then I select that video, and I'm going to drop it into my project, just behind everything else. And I don't actually want to add a transition <laughs> here. And as I said, my piggies really love willows. Um, I actually have a blooper. I'm going to put that at the end of the video. I haven't edited it yet though. But what I'm going to do <laughs> and as I said, my is just click right here so that I have a little bit of time before 
I start talking. Because one thing that really annoys me about videos is when people do those fancy transitions, like fading and stuff like that, when they're not necessary, or even if they are, you know, nicer to have, people kind of seem to, like, overlap the audio, I guess you can say. So, I don't actually have any audio at the end of this. But let's say I wanted to add a transition here. So I scroll it up as far as I can, then I come over here and click Transitions. And I don't know what all these look like, um, but I just want to add a sliding, where, a sliding one where the screen slides to the side with the other scene behind it, which is what this is, off to the left. So I want this one, so I'm going to select it and drag it all the way up to the top. Then I'm going to come down, because I know the second line of the video, that's the first line that's fully shown, is where I want the transition. And I drag it backwards until I see a little split in, um, I guess it's the blue section below the video clips. So I see it right there. So I drop it in right there, and I hold. I can hold the arrow over there and see that it's 0.5 seconds. So then I can listen to the audio. And as I said, so you can see I still have time before I actually start talking. So if I click on that little blue button at the bottom and click Transition Adjustments, I can come over here. I know it's up to the right is where I put it. And I can deselect Applies to All. And I'm just going to make it one second. I could make it longer, I think. Um, especially since I don't have any audio before. But it, let's say I had a clip where I was talking right before this. If I made it too long, I would be talking over myself, literally. So then I can listen to it again. And as I said, my piggy is... And that's perfect. So let's say I want to watch this transition. So I'm just going to unzoom and backtrack so that the arrow comes back here. Then I unzoom as far as I need to. And I make this little playback screen in the top right hand corner of iMovie take up the entire screen. And I have more Willow. This is a Willow ball. This is actually a blooper. Um, I'm going to put that at the end. But I'll be able to watch the transition here. And as I said, my piggy. So I couldn't really see that. I don't. I don't know if it's in there. I didn't really see that. But um, I don't actually know if that was in there. So if I come across a dilemma like this, I would either ask someone else or get another transition. Um, but that's how I watch that. Now, if I want to watch the whole thing. I can do a playback where it takes up the entire screen. And now I'm going to show you. And how I answer comments. So if I come down here to the dock, I can click this safari symbol. And I can tell that's the safari because it's a circle and it's like a light green or blue or something. And it's right next to this very plain symbol and this symbol with the distinctive black dot in the middle. So I click that, and I scroll up here to the address bar, click in there, and then I take GMA, and it brings up Gmail as a suggestion. So I hit enter, and come down until I see primary. Then I go to the right, there's social, and I don't have any mail. I've answered everything, but um, I can get the computer to read stuff to me. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't actually have it turned on, but um, like to read people's comments on my videos and stuff like that, I can get what's called voiceover to turn on and um, it it's complicated, but it can reprint for me. 
it's not on right now because we had to restart the computer and I forgot to turn it back on. But um, it, I can use different keystrokes and commands to get it to move around the screen and read what it's on. And the reason, um, and I can zoom like this because I have it on. If you have an Apple product, there is zoom that you can turn on in the settings menu. And that's what I use. It gets very large. As you can see, these are the thumbnails normal size, and these are the thumbnails the size I use them. So everything's a little bigger in my world, um, but I do most of my editing by sound, most of my filming by sound, and a lot of my YouTube comment answers by sound, and that's why when I watch people's videos that have... <coughs> oh, Flounder, please hush. <laughs> That's why when I watch people's videos that have words in them, I can't... You know, what you're trying to say just does not make sense to me because I cannot read the words. And voiceover will not read the words in a video because it looks like a picture. Flounder, hush! But I'm going to show you real quick how I type. So this is like normal font. So I can drag it over here to the end of the video, and it brings up a suggestions list for backgrounds, and I'm just going to click black. Then I unzoom a little, come up here, zoom in to where I want it, and delete. So let's say I want to type, I don't know, I have three guinea pigs named Rose Petunia and Kiwi and a dog named Flounder. I can just touch type. I think I might have messed up there. So I'm going to scroll down to where that is and click at the end and delete till I see the D is gone. And then I can start typing again. I messed up. Smiley face. So I typed that just by touch. I can't look at the keys, they're way too small, and all I can do is hope I don't have a mistake that I didn't catch. And sometimes I get people to look at my videos, sometimes I don't, so that's why sometimes there's typos in my videos. But I can't really read this. Now, the print is so large, and um, if I zoom in I can read. I have three guinea pigs. I can read that. But I typed it, so I know what it says. Let me show you what it's like when I try to read someone's comments on my videos. So I do have a new message. We'll see. It's Cavi Wonders. I don't want to show you what Cavi Wonders and I are talking about. It's a private message. So we have here. Okay, so this is Re. I would like to see. Okay, so I left a comment on Hamster Joy 365's video. So I zoom down. And I can see down here is with the text. That's a lot of text. Okay. <laughs> um, and I have already read this, so I am going to be a little faster. But she said, "Okay, sure. I will do it as soon as I can, but I have a a really huge." project do in the oh on the 21st and ignore that that's my dad's phone going off so 
as you can see, I'm not the fastest print reader, but when I was in first grade, it thought I was going to be a print user, but I... I mean, it has to be this big, you know? I mean, this is my hand, and I got that close. And the reason I kept shaking my head and I was also blinking my eyes is because I have nystagmus. Um, so, I, um, like, my eyes, they kind of jump around and twitch and move a little bit, and I can't control that. It's almost like dyslexia. So, the letters were getting transposed and stuff like that. Now, you might be wondering how I make videos like this. You know, I showed you how I do the text, and I can tell what I'm writing. But when I do videos like this, they're just cuteness montages. I'm not talking. So how do I know what's going on? And I can tell this because I took the footage. Um, it's that simple. I took the footage. I know what's going on. That was from my 50 subscriber Q&A. That was from my contest entry for Animal X Arts 500 subscriber contest. That was from my contest for Elite at Animal Lover 368. As you might have guessed, I'm talking in these videos. I know what is happening because I took it and because I was talking. I forget where that was from. I think I ended up not using it. That's right, yeah. That was a clip I ended up not using in a video. Oh, really? So I listen to these clips, I can see what the pigs are doing, you know, I can hear what the pigs are doing, and then I can just put it into a video and add some music. And there is a lot more audio to these clips than you might guess. For instance, right here, Kiwi lets me know what she's doing. And I know for a fact, for a fact, Petunia's weaking. I remember taking this clip, even though it was like over a year ago, and I can hear her doing it, and I can just memorize and match that to what's happening. That is Rose sniffing the camera, which was in the cage. So I think you get the point. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about how I do my editing. And, you know, how I do YouTube. How I make it through. Um, I do everything by sound. My life is sound. So, that's just how it works. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to comment, rate, request, and subscribe.